What is up, everybody? We are live and just talking some lead generation strategies today. Um, I know Sheila was having some uh, technical difficulties joining the Facebook Live, so I'm just going to do this on my own today and then hope that I can add some value to you all who are watching and listening. Um, one thing I want to talk about right now as we transition into the winter months um, and, and obviously uh, us in the northern markets and, and, and probably in the southern markets as well are experiencing um, some seasonality. So you'll notice that uh, in the winter months uh, that obviously the market falls off a little bit. So lead generation becomes uh, absolutely critical. Not only lead generation from the perspective of, of, of you, you know, holding what you're doing, the money you're spending on lead generation accountable. In other words, um, you're making sure that you're getting a dollar for dollar return on the money that you're spending. <clears throat> and um, also the, the money that you're spending, you, you know, you want to make sure that um, that you're, you've got the best uh, resources to optimize your time. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. I'm going to show you what I'm doing from a lead generation perspective, uh, kind of soup to nuts and feel free to ask questions. Um, I'll show you, you know, um, I'll show you what we're doing for buyer lead generation. I'll show you what we're doing for seller lead generation and kind of some of the back end systems so that if you're looking to improve your processes uh, as we go into the winter months, um, this should help out. Uh, and if you're not doing lead generation, uh, I would highly recommend that you do. Uh, we live in a marketplace right now, and I, I've talked to several agents over the last um, couple weeks who are um, who are doing lead generation uh, and uh, and they've talked about their market specifically. So, uh, and, and what's going on in their market. And everyone uh, by and large is seeing a, a little bit of a fall off right now based on you know, statistics. And uh, just to give you an example, uh, in, our, in, our, in our Northern market, so we service both Dayton and Cincinnati marketplaces. And what's happening right now in Dayton uh, is that uh, for the month of, August, we had just over 1,600 uh, sides or transactions. And uh, in the month of September, we went to just over 1,200. So that's a significant drop off. And I went back uh, three years and hadn't seen production that low uh, in, in the last three years. And then I also checked the data for October. So the first 17 days of October, we had 604 transactions. And you had to go all the way back to 2013 to see transactions that low. So the market is definitely cooling off. I personally don't think the market's going to crash. But what I do think is happening is that there is an adjustment. And so um, this, this lead generation talk becomes all the more critical to have. So right now, if you're noticing a cool off in your business uh, and you don't have some sort of a lead generation strategy, you're going to be in trouble over the next three to four months. So make sure that you're doing something uh, to generate leads. So why don't we dive right in? I'm going to show you kind of what we're doing uh, from a lead generation perspective. And, um, and then you guys can ask questions. Um, give me a thumbs up over on the side or just wave if you can hear. Uh, and you're, 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 you're getting my message loud and clear. Awesome. Good. Okay, so let's dive right in. So the first thing we're doing is uh, we're generating buyer leads, and that that is probably the simplest thing to do, um, because you know typically when you're generating buyer leads, you you have some sort of a uh, a CRM, a Commissions Inc., a Boomtown. Um, thank you, Michelle. Um, a you know a conversion KB Core, um, something in place uh, to to put homes out on uh, Google or Bing or whatever search engine uh, folks are, are, are using these days. And they're doing a forced registration. So they're showing the consumer properties, right? The consumer types in uh, whatever area that they're looking for and your site shows up in the top three ads. And then they click on that and they show them a couple houses or a couple pictures and then a registration screen pops up and then you fill out a registration card and then that lead then is uh, it, it is um, it is automated into your CRM, whatever you're using. 
And so that's by and large how these buyer lead CRMs are working. And, um, and, and, and so, and then when, when that registration happens, it goes into an agent, right? So it's looking at um, when an agent goes in, if you're, doing, if you're running it round robin, the agent gets a text, a call, uh, and an email. And um, you don't, you, and then they've obviously got a couple minutes to respond, right? That's how ideally you would do it. Um, so, and then, and so what we're doing is we're using a platform called Commissions Inc. And this is what it looks like. Um, let me share my screen real quick. Bear with me. All right. So here's my screen. You guys can see that now. Um, I'm going to show you kind of the back end of the system that we're using right now. So this is called Commissions Inc. This is a free provided solution um, that's offered from EXP. Uh, you guys, everyone has access to this. It's not proprietary to EXP. Um, EXP all, also offers uh, KB Core. Uh, they're all, for the most part, pretty similar. So you're going to see this, uh, as I mentioned before, the workflow kind of is a consumer signs up online and then you get their information and it comes into this platform. And this is what the agent sees when they logs on when they log on. So you can see, I mean, it's it's a pretty robust piece of software um, in that what it will do is based on the search that the consumer does online is it will save a search. Um, for the consumer, and then it will automate listings back out to the consumer. And so you, the, the way these leads are generated is dependent on the amount of money you're spending on pay-per-click. So you can set it a budget of $100 and generate, you know, um, I don't know, you know, 50 leads. And, and depending on where you generate those leads, your cost per lead will go up or down. Um, pay-per-click is usually a little more expensive. Facebook, uh, very cheap. Uh, the quality of lead typically goes down on Facebook because um, what happens on Google is when consumers come to your website on Google, they're looking for homes for sale. Whereas on Facebook, they're just seeing an ad that you're putting out and then clicking on it. So the quality or the gestational period, uh, quality goes down, gestational period goes up um, and gestational period, meaning that the time that they register to the time they actually um, transact is much longer. Uh, the gestational period for internet leads by and large is roughly about six months. So this is a long-term play, guys. Uh, this is not something where you're going to sign up and, and business is just going to start rolling in over, overnight. Um, so keep in mind, if you're not doing something like this right now, uh, that if you do decide to sign up and do some buyer lead generation, um, that it, it could take a little while for you to transact. And so what you want to make sure and do is potentially reach out to one of your uh, marketing partners and see if they're willing to help offset some of the costs. So reach out to your title agents, your lenders, your inspectors, your insurance people um, who can all help offset some of the cost of this to make it a little bit easier on you to do it long term, right? Because it is a commitment. So this is the, again, this is the, this is the buyer lead platform. Um, and this is heavily dependent on the amount of money that you're spending on your pay-per-click. Um, what happens from here is this comes into our system. We have ISAs in, in our office here that are in-house. So the agent, right now, the agent gets the first opportunity to call the lead. And so for the first five minutes, the, the agent has exclusivity on the lead. And then after five minutes, the ISA then has full reign to call any of the leads uh, at their own discretion. And we encourage them to do so because as we know, if you've ever seen the lead study, uh, the internet lead study, that it says that, that leads need to be called within the first five minutes to give yourself the best opportunity to connect with that lead and convert it. So, um, you know, we could go really deep on buyer leads, but I, I don't want to do that. I just kind of want to show you everything that we're doing um, because Sheila's question really was, uh, how do I generate more leads, right? And, or how do I generate leads in general and then the best sources for leads? So this is what we found are the best sources for our leads. We're generating right now anywhere um, between 700 and, and, and 800 leads per month uh, between our two platforms in both Dayton and Cincinnati. And so, um, 
you know, that's quite a bit, but we also have, you know, just over 20 agents on our team. So uh, we like to make sure that each of our agent gets at least 30 leads per month. And so the way we do that is we round robin the leads as they come in. We then allow our agents to keep what's called a top 150. So those are the 150 best leads and everything else goes in what we call the gold mine. Um, or some people call it the pond, right? And everyone on our team has the login for the gold mine or the pond. And so they can fish in the pond uh, for, for better leads. Uh, they can um, take leads out of their pipeline, their top 150 and put them in the pond if they're no good and replace them with new leads. Um, and then also our ISAs are working the pond or the gold mine. And we're, we're, we're always pulling, you know, business out of that. We've been doing this for quite some time now. This is our Cincinnati site. You can see we have over 12,000 leads. Our Dayton, uh, our Dayton platform, we've had even longer. It's got over 15,000 leads. So this is, this is it from the, from the buyer side. Um, I can tell you we do do some stuff on Facebook too um, uh, with just posting listings and stuff like that. We will have our ISAs actually um, – we have our ISAs on the phone from uh, eight to 11 and from four to six uh, or four to five or three to five. But during the downtime when we are less likely to connect, to connect with a consumer, we've actually got them uh, generating more leads on Facebook. So they're doing Facebook posts. Um, and, you know, and what we're trying to do is just to create more registrations for our agents and for our ISAs to call. So I want to show you one more thing real quick, and then I'll move on uh, from the buyer lead generation. The the from here, so we we make sure that that we're doing a you know a land, air, and sea attack. And what I mean by that is that we're this system when when you um, when you log into it um, or when it, when a consumer registers, it, it sends out an automated text message. And I'll see if I can find that here for you. Um, let me see. I think it's in. Might be in plans. Templates. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So I'll show you what this looks like if I can find it. Anyway, the consumer gets an automated text message. Uh, as soon as they register and I don't want to walk you through an instructional video of how to use commissions Inc because again, it doesn't really matter which platform you're using as long as you're using one. Um, but I wanted to find this. I think it's right here. Uh, so yeah. So th these are the text messages that, that, um, and again, you can create these so you can see the ones that we've created. Um, and I think it's this one right here. These are the shared templates. Uh, might be this one. Welcome text number one. I don't recall it being that old though. But anyway, I mean, that's a moot point really. Uh, I'll, ch I'll click on it, see what it says. Yeah, so, okay, so this is the first one that goes out. Again, this is automated. So the first text that goes out, this goes immediately after the registration. This is first name. Uh, glad you found the site. Please let us know if you have any questions about a particular home you see, right? So very uh, non-invasive, um, you know, a lot of consumers we find respond by text. They just prefer that as their uh, preferred method of communication. Um, and, and so, and then this one goes out at eight o'clock the next morning, right? And so it says, um, it's got some HTML, it inserts their first name, so it personalizes the text message. And then it says, if you see a really nice house in your favorite city, right? So whatever their favorite city is, again, some more HTML, is it best to text or uh, text call or email you, Mike, right? And um, and so we get a really good response rate from these uh, because, again, you know, people people love just the text message right now. And I don't know why that is. Um, we also do a third one. Um, this is uh, this is just essentially saying 
uh, your first name. Hey, just wanted to make sure I've been sending you the most relevant home listings. The reason why we do this, we do an email with this as well. But the reason why we do this is, you know, oftentimes a consumer will come in uh, and they will register and they'll look at homes. Uh, their, their saved search will look at homes between zero and two million dollars. And we know that, you know, if we send them, if they're looking at two hundred thousand dollar houses and we're sending them uh, fifty thousand dollar listings or two million dollar listings that we're not sending relevant data. And so the consumer is more likely to delete our post, right? So we want to we want to make sure and um, we want to make sure that that we're we're sending the most relevant listings. So that's kind of a behind the scenes on what we're doing. I've turned off the email drip campaigns for Commission Zinc because we have a more robust piece of, of technology that we're using. We actually used and 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 guys, I do not recommend this. Um, uh, for anyone yet uh, until you've you know built your business up to I would say at least 100 150 transactions per year this platform is called Infusionsoft and you have to you literally have to have somebody a professional running this for you in and what I mean by not running it for you but you have to have someone set this up for you because it, it is extremely robust and the emails are so good like some of these emails are they like the general seller campaign um, or our past clients, all right? They have, um, they have like ten years worth of emails, and these emails are built out with triggers. And what I mean by triggers is, like our buyer email says, "Are you buying a home in the next thirty to sixty or ninety days plus?" Right? And then if they, based on whatever they click on, they'll get a totally different set of emails, right? So if they click on thirty days, they're getting a more aggressive set of emails. If they click on sixty. It's a little less aggressive, and if they click on 90 plus, it's even less aggressive. Um, but the great part about this platform is that when when the when that person clicks on the lead, um, the ISAs then get a email alert that looks like this, and it says "Call now." Right. So this email comes right into the ISA. And it's letting the ISA know that, hey, this person is very serious about buying a home because they're clicking on all the emails, right? So it's a little bit warm. It's a way to optimize your phone calls. And so this individual filled out um, our property match form saying that they're looking for a home between one and $200,000, three bedrooms, 1,500, 2,500, uh, and special features, looking for a pool, garage, and basement, right? So, and then our ISAs are on that like immediately, right? And so we're also doing this um, with our expired and for sale by owner stuff. So um, the, the current platform we use for that, just moving on to seller lead gen is, so th uh, the reason why I wanted to show you this Infusionsoft, because it's just where it's another layer of lead conversion, right? So lead generation is one thing. Um, and we just, I had a conversation about this with someone earlier in the week. Um, lead conversion, totally different tactic, right? And, and totally different skill set involved uh, because we all know we we most of us can generate leads, right? Some of us generate hundreds or thousands of leads per month, and uh, the reality of it is, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything unless you convert the leads. So we have all these different, um, we've all, all these different leveraged pieces of technology um, that are helping us be more um, be more effective, right? So if we're calling, right, we have ISAs calling the leads, we have emails going out to the leads, we have text messages going out to the leads, right? And we're, we're, we're hitting the leads with some retargeting on social media. And so what I mean by that is, is if we capture, if the lead comes in, um, we capture their IP address, and then we can retarget the lead on Facebook or on Google. And retargeting means essentially that you're, your art, your ads, or um, yeah, essentially just your ads are popping up um, and following them around the internet. Like they may, may go to weather.com and see an ad for for uh, for your particular website to look at more homes, right? To pull that lead back in. So um, the the seller lead platform that we're using, and I talked a little bit about this yesterday when I was um, talking with Brett from Wisconsin. Um, you guys can see this is the uh, uh, seller lead generation platform we're using for expireds and for sale by owners. And, um, and I want you to see this real quick because this, again, if you didn't watch yesterday, um, this is the, this is the back end platform for Vulcan seven. So this is the expired and for sale by owner data. It's delivered every day before seven 30 
Um, it's very, very nice. Uh, in most cases, it includes a name, a phone number, and an email address. And remember when I told you um, about Infusionsoft, right? So my marketing manager, uh, we can take this data, we can download it into a CSV file and then upload it into Infusionsoft and then assign that respective, um, we can assign that respective uh, uh, um, email drip. So I've got an entire email drip system built out for expireds, an entire email drip system built out for, for sell by owners and uh, past clients, um, general seller. So we've got a couple different general seller campaigns. We've got have spoken to, have not spoken to. Uh, and then we've also got the buyer lead. And then we've got uh, a couple more. We've got active seller. So this is for active sellers for our listings that are currently listed. So just making sure we stay in front of uh, our clients, right? And then, um, and then we have buyer post-closing. And then we have a, what we call adopt a buyer. And does anybody know what adopt a buyer is? I'm just, I'm just curious. Anybody give me some comments if you know what adopt a buyer is on the side here. And then I'll tell you, I'll count to three and then I'll tell you. Anybody know what adopt a buyer is? Nobody? All right, I'll tell you what adopt a buyer is. Um, Cause it's kind of sneaky, but it's, 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 it's working out well for us. So adopt the buyer essentially is, when you um, when you when you do a transaction, right, and you are representing one of your sellers, and the the buyer on the other side, you're able to um, you're able to get their information, and you can send an email drip campaign uh, because the reason why that adopt a buyer sequence is so important is because we know statistically speaking that most agents they don't follow up with clients after the sale. Um, and, and most agents do very little repeat and referral business because they don't follow up appropriately. And we know we're not trying to steal the client, but what we are trying to do is add value to that client so that they might see us as a more valuable option in the future when they decide to sell their home, right? So um, you can see that uh, if you have questions about Infusionsoft, um, um, just DM me and I can send you my contact. If, uh, but again, you, you would not want to use this um, unless you were at 100 to 150 transactions um, because it is a little expensive. Um, but if you are on my team, you get it for free. So <laughs> keep that in mind. And, um, and, and so the other thing that I wanted to show you too uh, from a seller lead generation perspective is you know on this, on this site right here. So if I go back to the main site, you can see that uh, there is a seller lead generation platform here as well. And, and you all know that uh, um, what a home evaluation lead is, right? So you can essentially, this, it's like a landing page that you would put on Facebook or Google um, that when someone typed in, what's the value of my home, your site would pop up and right, they would enter your information. Right. And then they would get a like a free report. And so you can see here, this is my house. And then they just ask you for some additional information. Right. And, and so they ask you to confirm that and then you get um, the value of your home. So that's essentially how that works. Um, so we're doing buyer lead generation. We're using Commissions Inc. We're doing seller lead generation. We're using Commissions Inc. Uh, the home evaluation, and we're also using for sell by owner and expireds. Um, I just wanted to show you one more thing here too, because um, this is not a plug for EXP. It's just the company that we happen to be with, um, and your company may offer something as well. Um, so that's something you'd need to look into. But the great thing about EXP too is they offer a Commissions Inc. platform or a KB Core platform uh, at no charge. Um, the only thing you are responsible for is the, the PPC or the pay-per-click. And uh, they have a program called Making It Rain, which allows you to essentially automate this process, right? So the Making It Rain program essentially is where you hire uh, a third party um, to go in and generate the leads for you. So you can see this, like you can generate for $100 a month, uh, a six month commitment, you can generate five to eight leads per month. Uh, for $250 a month, you can generate 15 to 25 leads per month and $500 generates 25 to 40 leads per month. This will vary based on your marketplace and, and how competitive it is. 
But um, you know, if you if you are not with EXP, you may just want to call into one of these buyer lead platforms and uh, have them do a demo for you. Um, another really good one um, that we are considering is called Market Maker. And uh, it's uh, if you want to check that out, just go to www.anxiousagent.com and, uh, and you can do a, a demo for that particular product there. That one does pretty much everything. The, the reason why we really like that one and we're considering that one is that it also does recruitment. And for those of you um, who are team leaders, um, you understand the importance of recruiting uh, great talent. So, um, you know, I really, other than that, that's that's essentially about all we're doing. We're we're obviously we're heavily predicated on um, on using the phones here uh, because we are generating so many leads. Um, I'll tell you right now, as I told you in the beginning of this, if you're, if you're not generating leads right now, or if you're noticing that the market is cooling off, you either need to uh, put into place a lead generation strategy or join with someone who already has one. Because with the market softening like it is, um, you will not sustain throughout the winter months. You will not be able to, 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 to do business at the level you were in the previous 18 months because of the market correction. So if you have any questions, I'd be happy to jump on a one on one with with you personally. Um, I, I love doing these coaching sessions. You can you can go and we can come on live together. Uh, as I say, in 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 every other module that we nothing is out of bounds. You can ask any questions. I'll show you anything that we're doing. I can dive in dive in deeper to one of these platforms if you're interested in additional information. And uh, you know we're we're completely transparent in what we're doing from a business perspective here. So if you want to do that, just go to www.liverealestatecoaching.com, and uh, that'll be a calendar link. Just sign up, and we will jump on and um, and look forward to adding some value through uh, through that one on one. Um, so that's about it for today, guys. Uh, if you have any other questions, you know, feel free to DM me and let me know, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.